Technicolor is a company specializing in digital and film-based technology for the entertainment industry. The company is best known for developing the Technicolor process, a color film process that revolutionized the film industry in the 1930s and was the only one with color technology in the early days of the color film industry. This means any company that wants to make a color film will need to rent a cam- camera from the company. This technology works by having three different drives with colored filters of the filming the same scene. Then these drives work independently to print color on finished scenes. This technology is very expensive. For instance, in the wonderful Wizard of Oz, in this film, eight Technicolor cameras was being used. And when using this technology, they need to ensure there is bright light at all times, which makes electricity fees causing more than 25 grants. In 1939, the three-strip process from Technicolor had garnered a level of status after films like The Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind hit theaters. But despite Technicolor being a great camera for color film, it was too expensive, especially for the smaller production companies. In 1950, Eastman Color was introduced by Eastman Kodak, which was a low-cost substitute for Technicolor. In December of 1951, a documentary was released using Eastman Color, which ended a 20-year streak that Technicolor had of the market of color cinematography based on its costly three-strip process. In 1952, Eastman Kodak presented a monopack technology, a Type 5248, that was an improvement from before, as this one had a higher emulsion speed and better grain structure. 1954 became the last year Technicolor was used in an all-American-made feature. With the introduction of Technicolor film, technical changes to lighting equipment were needed. Originally, the film industry relied on incandescent lighting to light sets, but this created issues of additional noise, but more importantly, the incandescent lighting did not best suit the use of Technicolor film due to the incorrect amounts of illumination and color temperature it provided. To solve this issue, film sets using Technicolor film began to use arc lights. In 1936, the Mole Richardson Company created arc lights that were capable of providing appropriate illumination and color temperature needed for Technicolor film. The Mole Richardson Company continued to improve their arc lights by releasing floor mounted models, spotlight models, and high intensity models. The invention of these not only solved the issue of illumination and color temperature, but also created the opportunity for film producers to add lighting effects to subjects of film like lighting gels that would consist of transparent colored sheets of plastic placed inside the frames that would be positioned in front of the arc light. As you've learned so far, color film and cinema went through many stages in its early days, and therefore many different technologies. Now that leads us to around 1950, when Eastman Color Film hit the big stage. Now contrary to Technicolor's three-strip color negative film, Eastman Color Film only used a single strip of color negative film, thus creating a cheaper and simpler option for both filming and projecting major major motion pictures. Additionally, Eastman's single strip color negative allowed for the film to fit into any 35mm camera, meaning that studios would no longer have to rely on the large, space-consuming, bulky Technicolor cameras. However, the impact of Eastman Color Film did not stop there. Prior to Eastman, the high cost of color film resulted in color being reserved for a select few genres that only made up about 10% of what Hollywood was producing at the time. But when Eastman color film hit the scene, the increased financial flexibility enabled the colorful exploration of every genre of film. And by 1954, the vast majority of Hollywood productions were shot in Eastman color negative as the technology began sweeping through the industry, ensuring that color and major motion cinema was there to stay.